test it out a little bit. Okay, well, Simon, really cool vehicle here. Obviously, it's kind of self-explanatory what it's going to be able to. Wow, this is a weird angle. Sometimes it does this. A little glitch in the game uh, that happens if you're not careful. Uh, let's exit. Um, sometimes when you hop into the CMOD, it actually like puts it, puts you in a weird camera angle. But what the CMOD is actually going to allow us to do is actually going to allow us to dive down into the depths. Now, in regards to the CMOD, one problem that I've been having with it uh, in regards to functionality is you can't really turn, you just have to look in a general direction. I really wish there was some fine turning here uh, implemented, especially if they're going to put in like trenches and stuff into the game. Uh, but what a CMOT is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to pretty much dive very, very far into the ocean, which is something I'm super excited about. You know what? Screw it. Let's do this now. We're going to end up crashing our game anyway, so we might as well just start our journey. Wait, actually. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to take a deep sea voyage. Let's freaking do it. I didn't have this planned. We're just going to do it just because. Uh, the energy as of right now, uh, you see at the bottom here, uh, middle, bottom middle of the screen, there is a health meter and an energy meter. Uh, those two things right there, oh, that's a shark. Those the guys are not nice mobs. We should really avoid that guy. Oh, nighttime approaches already? That's quicker than I thought it would. Um, the health and energy, I, the health obviously still matters, but I don't believe the energy has been implemented yet so once we hit zero on our energy level we're going up to the surface here just to see how close we are to the ship uh, where are we in regards to the ship uh, we're relatively far let's go ahead and head over in this direction uh, the reason I'm trying to figure out where the placement of the ship is is because the closer we are to the ship um, the actual we're actually gonna get radiation poisoning uh, which is not fun. You should never strive to get radiation poisoning. Uh, but as I was saying, like, the energy levels haven't been implemented yet. So once we actually hit zero on our energy level, nothing is really going to happen to us. Uh, we're going to be able to drive pretty much uh, as far as we possibly can with no problem unless we, like, die or something. Um, or our, when our hunger and uh, hydration levels collapse down upon us. Ooh. This is something that's cool. Now, there's a lot of stuff, obviously, deeper down into the ocean that has not been implemented yet. Uh, you can see here we're already at 150, 170 meters here, which is pretty freaking deep if you think about it. Oh, I don't want to hit the bottom here. Please don't let me hit the bottom. Never fun to do. So we're coming up on sea mountains here. There are some certain biomes that have already been implemented into the game. Uh, hopefully we can Oh, here here we go this is a cool little biome here uh, this is I'm gonna give the game a little bit of time whoa are we shaking this is weird this is terrifying uh, hopefully I have my game volume a little bit high so you guys can hear the game a little bit um, the sound design in this game is incredible incredible terrifying haunting a few words that can describe it but this is the mushroom biome I don't think as of yet uh, any um, harvestable things have been implemented into this area yet. Uh, I know there are little like patches that you can get, but I don't think anything wildly important is at these uh, mushroom little fields here. So we're going to try to bypass this. I just wanted to show you guys here uh, what this area looks like. Let's keep driving though. See how deep we can get see what we can discover again I've only spent like two hours in this game uh, two hours will suffice though at the development stage it's in right now like not much you're not gonna be able to see much what is that whoa 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 hello hi how are you I guess those guys are hostile why is there metal this far down that is weird huh but there's so much potential as we drive here in the ocean Obviously. Oh my gosh, what is that? That is terrifying. We can't find turn, so I can't really see. That is terrifying. What is that thing? That's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. What the heck? 
Sea monsters, man. What can I say? Oh, dude, do not go near me, please. That is terrifying. Ocean is a scary place, man. I'm not gonna lie. Ocean is a scary place, but this is what I love. Just drive. Whoa. Oh, radiation detected. Can't go in this direction. Okay, then. Yeah, let's just... Oh, why am I still... Let's get out of this area. Get out of this area. Get out of this area. Again, my sense of direction could be failing me right now. Why? Hearing the muffled screams is so terrifying. I don't know which direction I'm going in. Whether I'm going towards the ship or away from the ship. I don't really know. I think, I'm assuming I'm going towards the ship. I need to figure out where I am so I can get away. Dude, hearing the muffled screams of our guy here is actually one of the most terrifying things ever. We need to go in this direction before we die. Whoa, we're getting a little bit of a... Uh... Come on, get away. There we go. Let's dive again. Dive, 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 dive. I guess I can pull this recording out for another hour. So we're not too far away from the surface here at the beginning of these uh, mushroom... At the beginning of this mushroom biome. That's what I'm calling it, at least. The fluorescent bulb um, mushroom patches here. Oh, there's our game. Alright, so our game crashed, so that's a thing that happened, which is pretty depressing. Uh, what that means is we pretty much lost everything that we did for the past hour. Uh, we recorded like a one chunk thing, you guys are probably seeing this at the end of the most recent episode. Uh, our game crashed, which means we lost everything, which is a little bit sad. I wanted to explore a little bit more, there's just some stuff that you guys didn't see. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this recording session, I've been recording for like an hour. Uh, if you like what you see, definitely pick up the game. First things first, That's I think it's $20 on Steam right now. It's in early access, so don't expect too, too much in regards to um, what you can do in the game, obviously, because they're still developing it, so that's a thing. It is available to the public, though, so that's something that's real cool. Um, another thing that I wanted to say, remember, if you enjoy what you like to see, if you enjoy what you've seen here on the channel so far uh, in regards to this game, leave a comment in the comment section below of this video, as well as leave a like and obviously subscribe if you want to see more uh, definitely you should really really post in the comment section below if you want to see more content of this because I've been really excited to play this game and I'm really down to record more of it if people will like me to do that um, other than that there's not much else I want to say if you do buy the game tweet at me or tweet at the Subnautica devs and tell them that 8-bit sent you that's something that would really help me and I would really appreciate that uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have to say on that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, my name is Tim aka General Apit. Until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching.